Hello everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome to another video on machine learning and data science terminology series. In this video, we look at histogram. What is histogram? Histogram is a statistical plot for displaying a frequency of a distribution, frequency counts of a distribution. For example, let's say you have a salaries of an organization. Let's say we have 1000 employees and the salaries are something like 120, 125, 130, um, let's say in thousands of US dollars, USD, 180, uh, 170, 110, 90, 80, 200, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, all right? And if I plot it on a graph with the frequency, let's say this is your, this is your salary, I'm gonna just roughly say this is around 120, this is 130, 140 and so on and so forth, 110 and 100, 90 and so on and so forth. And I'm gonna literally count the number of people in this thousand who are uh, salary at around 120, for example. Let's say there are about 200, 250 members. So I'm gonna just draw a market like this is like 200 kind of. And this is your frequency. Okay, so there are one, 200 members in your organization who have, let's say, 300, for example. The 300 members in your organization who have a salary of uh, 120, right? The similar manner, I'm going to calculate this for, for number of people who are getting 110 and 100 and etc, etc. These are all rough numbers, by the way, just to give you an idea how it works. And this is called as histogram. It's simply a frequency distribution of the data, okay? And if you try to combine, like kind of like a, make it more smooth, smoother, and this graph, this curve is called as mass distribution function, distribution function, and what it does, oh, very bad handwriting. What it does, it kind of like a, takes an average, smooths up the discrete values into a continuous value. Right. And uh, histogram is very powerful statistical tool because by visually you can understand how is the distribution, which is the area, a lot of data there. Basically, this is the mode of the distribution. We can also do a lot of analysis. If your histogram seems to be like this, this is actually called as a normal distribution because most of the normally occurring phenomena in the nature, like height and growth of the plants and stuff like that, are normal distribution. It's also called as bell curve or it's technically called as Gaussian distribution. So by looking at the histogram, we also have different type of distributions which are classified, which are actually categorized by looking at the histogram. All right, so that's histogram. If you want to implement in Python, uh, we can use, um, for example, Seaburn. Seaburn is a package, a visualization package, which indeed works with matplotlib. I'm gonna say, matplotlib in line to get the graph below and then I'm going to define some salaries okay uh, 120 122 125 100 uh, k 90 k uh, 140 k 180 k uh, 80 k you do have people who are working with 50 k 60 k a lot though you know data scientists are supposed to be getting a lot more money in the market all right, so we have a bunch of numbers over here. And if I wish to draw a histogram, I can simply say this plot is what histogram in C1 package. I'm gonna pass on salary and say, oh, okay, this is, this is histogram, all right. And it basically gives you a frequency distribution and it's very important statistical plot in statistics. Okay, that's histogram. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Like this channel, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.